Guess what I have. Ooh, that looks good. Cool. Gosh, this looks so heavy duty. We can literally install this right now, Natalie. There's nothing stopping us. I've seen this on other people's YouTube videos for so long, it's crazy to like see it in person. You know, that's a good point. <laughs> so we've been planning and dreaming about this for, gosh, two years this fall, right? Yeah. So it's cool to, it's cool to see things like in our own living space. And oh, like here it is, here's Lugan Table Mount. I never thought I'd own one of these, but now I do. Neat, very neat. Sweet, they give us some free half inch board. Oh, is that the table? Yeah, this is the table. It fits perfectly on there, look at that. Nice. So you get that side and I get this side. <laughs> so we're going to mount this and what we realized is that the table mount's too close. There's not enough room for the arm to turn. So we basically need to add a spacer. We're just using one inch deck board and this one inch gives us the perfect amount of spacing. This is gonna be our table at our dinette. We just have to cut it and stain it and poly it and I can see it already. Although it'll, it'll go the other way. So yeah, <laughs> I can see it already. <laughs> That's good. And it's almost the perfect size. Almost. We'll just have to cut it down a little, uh, which I guess we should do before we stain it, huh? Yeah, probably. Cool. <laughs> That's a nice looking table. Is that the new brush? No. <laughs> okay. I was going to save the new brush. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, this brush is crunchy. Mm. <laughs> it has so many layers of hardened poly on it. <laughs> and why is that? Because <laughs> I don't wash it off. <laughs> There's nowhere convenient to wash it off and it really doesn't help. Good morning. The sun just came up and it's a nice 70 degrees right now, which is why we're out here at sunup. We're trying to get a nice full day of work in before it hits 95, which it's supposed to later today. And by full day, she means until lunch when it hits 95 and then we'll probably go inside. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's stuff we can still work on inside, but um, we're just trying to get done what we can before it gets too uncomfortable and too hot to be out here but we might have to press through it because we have a lot of the build left. Well, we have something fun to show you guys. Um, yesterday, while Natalie was editing, um, I did a little side project on my own. So we now have seat cushions on our benches. So it looks so much better and it actually is nice to sit on. <laughs> and before it wasn't bad, it's just like a wooden bench, but now it is just right. Jimmy did an excellent job. They're so comfortable. It's three inches of foam and I really like the fabric that we picked out. I just can't wait until we have a completely finished dinette, which we are so close to having. The last step, I think, is to install the tabletop, which should be ready for us now. So we're gonna go check on that. Can I touch it? Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. It looks really shiny. It is shiny. It's very smooth. That's our dining room table. I'm really happy with it. We have a fully finished dinette. I cannot wait to eat lunch out here, but it's 7.30, so I am gonna have to wait a little bit, but it's so cool. I really like the table mount that we picked out because it doesn't have any legs, it's mounted to the wall which means there's nothing to hit your knees on whenever you get in and out. And it's a little bit adjustable. So if you wanna pull it closer to you or push it away, you can do that or you know just have it in the middle. And if you want, you can actually remove this top 
and flip it around and put it so that it faces the other way, which is not much of a change, but it will be really nice if you ever really want to sit at a desk facing the window. So it's nice to have the option, but mostly I just, I'm just so excited to have a completely finished portion of the bus. If you think about all the different rooms you would have in a house, this would be our dining room and it's done, which is so crazy because I'm just sitting in rubble around us. <laughs> so we have a lot more to go. And I think the next thing we're gonna take a crack at is wrapping up our DC electrical setup. It's getting pretty hot out here. We're getting closer and closer to midday, but we're making really good progress on this DC electrical setup. And our biggest motivating factor right now is that if we can get it all hooked up, we should be able to run the fans when we eat lunch in here today. So we're really gunning to get it done soon. We have our first two fuses. We're working on hooking up the batteries right now. Jimmy is really kind of taking the lead on this because he wrote up our electrical diagram and knows where we want to put everything. I I'm trying to be a pair of helping hands here. We had to buy huge 4 aught gauge cables for our batteries because we're using a 3000 watt inverter. So we found these huge cables, they were really hard to find, but we found a seller on Amazon. Yeah, we didn't have to worry about cutting or crimping them, we just bought them already crimped. Um, from a predetermined size from Amazon, and it worked really well. You ready? I'm ready. Oh! It's on! It's on! <laughs> oh, that feels so, like, I mean, the air feels nice, but like, just the idea, just the fact that we got it working is nice. All right, I'm gonna go turn one on the back. All right. Yeah. We did it! We did or it. Jimmy did it with <laughs> my help. <laughs> yeah, Natalie helped a lot, so thank you, Natalie. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for uh, taking charge on it. I'm, it's so, uh, it's, it's like such a tremendous like feeling of relief to have it working. Yeah, I know. Gosh, Gosh. it was good. It's another thing that we can enjoy. We have the dinette, which we put the finishing touches on today, and then now we have our fans, and we can hook up all the other things, too, that are DC. We could bring our refrigerator out here yeah. if we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess next, uh, I mean, we'll probably break for lunch, but after that, we can probably go ahead and switch the lights from the portable battery to our permanent DC fuse box. And then, yeah. And then the lights will always be hooked up. Yeah, that'll be cool. I just, yeah, I didn't really, I didn't yeah. put that together. I know, right? Like, we're so used to using the yellow one that we're not used to the, uh, the yeah. main batteries, but yeah, we can hook it up. That's so nice. So then we never have to come out here and bring that battery again. Like, it'll be hooked up and we can just turn it on whenever we want. Wow. It's a good feeling. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get some lunch. Yeah, let's get some lunch. <laughs> good morning. It's the second day that we're trying to wake up earlier and it is... Yeah, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice once we're out here. It's just kind of hard to wake up when it's dark outside. Yeah. <laughs> so we're kind of taking a longer breakfast um, than normal, but it's still pretty early, so we're going to get started. It feels really good out here, so we probably have a few hours until lunch, and then we'll kind of reassess then. I think the high today is supposed to be at, like around 95 again. Jeez. Right now it's like 70 degrees, so it's perfect. I think it's yeah. worth waking up, but we'll see how we feel after a couple days of doing this. <laughs> So we came out here last night so that we could put a coat of paint on this panel which is going to go inside of one of our dinette seats and we're going to use it like a little wall and put the solar charge controller on it. We want it to match everything else so we put a coat of paint on it last night and it should be ready to flip over and paint the other side right now. So now that Natalie's put on that last coat of paint onto that board, we'll let it dry and in the meantime, we are going to try, keyword is try, to install this puck lock. So we picked this up yesterday, and our plan is to put it on the front door. That should add enough security for us where you know we're comfortable enough. You know, everyone makes the joke that uh, 
Doesn't matter how many locks you put on your front door, you can always just kick out the panel underneath and climb in, especially for a bus. But uh, I, I feel like everyone deals with that, so we gotta do what we can. So we're gonna add the puck lock now. When we originally bought the bus, the previous owner had a chain lock up here. We haven't really needed a lock since we bought the bus, but when we hit the road, we really wanna have one. This chain lock really isn't very secure because someone with a Phillips head screwdriver should be able to remove this part of it. So the puck lock will definitely be a step up from that. Jimmy is working on putting in our puck lock for the front door. And once we got started on that, we realized that it's mostly kind of a one person job. So I'm gonna make myself useful and try to make some temporary window coverings because we have something exciting coming up where we're going to need them. living the dream we got all three of our doors have fresh locks installed well one of them is fresh yeah the, the most important one the front door has a brand new puck lock on it and then the back two doors we reinstalled the chain locks that the previous owner had that we had to take down to remove the walls yep. so all three of our doors can be safely locked from the inside and you might be able to see behind Jimmy we also put up some temporary window covers so the reason we're rushing all of these projects like the locks and the window coverings and the batteries is because we have plans to go camping this weekend for the very first time. It'll be our first trip and we are really excited. This just kind of fell into place. Um, we weren't really planning this but it kind of the opportunity presented itself and we really want to take advantage of it, and so we made a short list of what we needed to do first, and we've just been knocking out those things, and I think we're gonna make it. Yeah, we've been calling it our short bus short list. <laughs> yeah, so what was on the list? We had, um, we needed to finish hooking up the DC batteries, we had to add the locks, we had to finish putting in the L brackets for the bed, and we had to hook up the fridge, and we had to finally install the temporary window coverings, which right now is just cardboard but it just gives us a little bit of privacy. And we've already accomplished a lot of that, so we're honestly really close to being able to hit the road. Yeah. Well, for a weekend, like this is not permanent by any means. We're gonna be sleeping on an air mattress, we have cardboard in all the windows, and it, you know, it's primitive, but we are super excited. And we have a fully decked out dinette and a rooftop deck, which we'll hopefully be able to use. Yeah. All right, well, so today I think we just have some paint drying. We're adding that panel to the battery box um, below the dinette so we can add a few things like the solar charge controller. We wanted a pretty piece of wood to mount it all on. So we're just kind of, we're going to kind of wrap up for today and, um, and paint and do a second coat on that. And we should be able to pick you back up in the morning when we install our solar charge controller. See y'all bright and early. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great start of their day. I know we are. We're getting started today with our solar charge controller setup. We cut out this panel the other day and painted it so it matches our dinette bench. We're gonna install it, but before we do that, we're gonna attach our switches, our charge controller, and our WeBoost module onto it. So all we have right now is our solar charge controller, our inverter switch, and our WeBoost. So we have everything measured out. I think we're gonna drill some holes and make some cuts. That'll work. Oh. Is there? I can't put some windows. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you gotta go home, buddy. You're so close. There you go. Okay, that's the second time that's happened today. <laughs> All 
All right, so we just finished installing the board with the solar charge controller on it. We decided to put it on the left side of the bench um, so that it would be facing this cabinet hole here. Basically, we did that so we could read all the monitoring from the solar charge controller and we could reach our switches from this one location. We mounted it like two inches off the ground and then it has like an inch or two above it so we can run cables really easily to these switches and to the solar charge controller. But I mean, long story short, we've got solar power now. For like the day, day and a half that we ran it without solar power, we dropped them down to about 95%. And when we hooked up the solar charge controller and the solar panels, I think it took like an hour or two and they were back up to 100% already. So I'm really excited about it. It's the first time we've ever used or owned solar panels. They work really well from what I can tell. I'm really looking forward to this weekend when we go camping because we'll probably be under a lot of trees and we'll get to use a lot more of the battery and hopefully drop it below 90%. So we're getting really close to finishing getting ready for this camping trip so i think we just need to wrap up a few things and we can call it done all right i'm gonna get on it oh, i'm taking off my shoes oh god i don't want to pop it This is nice. Yeah? How tall? It's tall, isn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty tall. Ooh, it's like <laughs> bulging. <laughs> I didn't fill it up all the way. I hope that kind of helps. We have a bed. <laughs> we went around and secured all of the beams that we had used to frame the bed a couple weeks ago. We just put some additional L brackets on them for extra support. And then we put in the slats from our bed that we're using currently. Um, we just kind of zip tied them in place and we're hoping that they don't fall off and um, we have an air mattress on it right now which will work for this weekend. It's so cool how cozy it is. It's like a little loft back here and also with the window coverings up for privacy it's made it a lot cooler. And then one more thing we have a jerry-rigged set of curtains. We can attach it on the other side of the bed. It's just a sheet and you can pull it across and have curtains so that this entire back section is private and can't be seen from outside the bus. So it's nice because there's plenty of room to stand in here and change clothes and then also the bed is hidden from the outside. All right, and the last thing we had to do was hook up the fridge DC port, which um, was pretty easy. I mean, we already had the wires run and we went ahead and connected to the DC fuse block. So we'll be bringing out the fridge later today. But I think we're done with our list. We've done everything that we need to to be able to get on the road for at least two days. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next week and we'll let you know how the camping trip goes. Um, <laughs> hopefully it goes smoothly, but we'll let you know next time. Yep. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.